Hey guys, today I'm going to introduce you to 10 monkey type features that I believe everybody should know about. The first feature I'm going to show you is the key map, which basically just pulls up this live display of the keys you're pressing. This display is really useful if you're trying to record or show somebody else you're typing, but I also like turning it on for myself just because it makes me feel faster, which I desperately need to fulfill my ego. If you're learning a new layout, you can also set the key map mode to next and it'll show you the location of the next key you need to press, although I wouldn't recommend using this too much because you don't want to have to rely on it later. Coming in at number two is the quotes mode. Although this is a pretty basic feature and it's immediately visible from the homepage of monkey type, I decided it deserved a spot in the video because I think it's really underused, right? Like, let's be real, most of us just want to type the funny random word as fast as possible, which is cool, but quotes are a lot better for like actually getting applicable practice. So I think quotes mode is a feature that everyone needs to know about. We should all probably be using this sometimes. The next feature I want to show are the fun boxes. There are a lot of them, but here are a few of my favorites. The arrows fun box requires you to press the arrow keys in the correct direction as fast as you can, which is fun, but also surprisingly hard. The Wikipedia fun box forces you to type random Wikipedia articles, which means you can learn while also getting some difficult typing practice. Be warned though, sometimes they ask you to type things like this. Good luck with that. And if you thought fun boxes only change the content of the typing test, then you are very wrong. Other fun boxes like Nausea make the text do this funny dance thing. And yes, you can't combine many of the fun boxes to create the ultimate challenge. The layout emulator feature is essential for anyone who wants to learn or even just try an alternate layout. Combined with the key map feature, you basically have everything you need to learn a new keyboard layout. Although you can't create a custom layout of whatever you want, the site probably has all of the custom layouts you could want plus more. If you can't find the layout you're looking for and you know how to use GitHub, you could always just add the layout yourself since monkey type is open source. And I think it's probably only a matter of time before someone adds the abilities for you to build any layout all within monkey type. Someone please do that, it would be really cool, thanks. So did you know that monkey type actually has three difficulties? And I don't mean the different time or word settings. What I mean is that there's a normal difficulty, which you're probably used to because it's just the default functionality of monkey type but there's also two other difficulties. With the expert difficulty, you cannot get a single word wrong or else the test will immediately fail and you have to start over, which is just great. On master difficulty, you can't get any letters wrong, so a single mistake immediately restarts the test. So that's great and I hope you have fun playing that. Overall though, these difficulties make for a great way to practice or to show off your accuracy. This next feature isn't really going to be used by everyone, but I think we probably all wish we had used it at some point. You actually have the ability to turn off result saving, which means that your test scores will not be saved. This could be very helpful if you're just messing around and not actually trying to type well, or if you're practicing some sort of challenge and you don't want your scores to be saved, you can do that. Just don't forget to turn the feature off or else you might end up not saving a new personal test. But that's okay because there's no way you would ever forget that you have it turned on, right? If you're the type of person who lets one mistake on your test lead to a dozen more, then this feature might be helpful for you. Blind mode makes it so that you can't see any of your mistakes, displaying the test as if you had 100% accuracy all the way until you finish. A lot of people find that this feature helps them prevent choking a good score, so you might find it helpful too. Personally, I don't use it all the time, but sometimes it definitely feels like it helps me. On many typing websites, it won't let you go to the next word until you've fixed your mistakes on the current word. Well, you can do that with monkey type too. With stop on error set to word mode, you can make it so that you're forced to fix your mistakes, which is great for practicing real world typing. Alternatively, you can set it to letter mode, which only lets you continue after you've typed the correct letter. This one probably isn't as practical for real world typing. However, it does more closely emulate nitro type, if that's your thing. One of the most essential features of monkey type is the various languages you can choose from. And before you think you won't use this, the languages aren't just about actual different human languages. Many languages have multiple word lists, with higher numbers of words generally leading to harder difficulty as the words get more obscure. On top of that, there are languages for many different programming languages, so if you're a programmer, you can specifically practice something like JavaScript. For anyone who spends long sessions playing monkey type, quick restart is a small change but considered essential by a lot of users. All the setting does is make it so you can quickly restart the test by simply pressing tab or escape instead of having to press tab or escape and then enter. Just be very careful using this one or an inaccurate keystroke might cause you to accidentally end your test before you finish. 
All right, that's my list. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoy it, you should go and watch some of my other videos. I don't know. They're pretty good. You should do that. I don't know. I mean, it's up to you. I'm not like forcing you to do anything, but like you, you should, you should go watch them like right now, please. Thanks.